Hey YouTube, Bones on Campus. First knife video, how about this? Well, it's hard off right. Nice, easy mid size or even small pocket style knife. This here is the K Bar Heavy Bowie. This is how it basically comes. Um, this is pretty well used. It has, I know you want to see it, we'll get there. It has Cordura on one side, leather on the other for the sheath. And as you can see, rivets got kind of rust around them. This lived in my truck for a while. So it's got two thumb snaps basically. I put a piece of 550 cord on there. And this is our blade. It is, right now, not terribly sharp because I've been thrashing on it. What we have is we have a 9 inch blade with a 14 and a half inch overall length. Verify that. 9 inch blade, 14 and a half overall. Checks. Our blade thickness, get the calipers out here. Our blade thickness, website says a quarter inch. I'm getting 241, 225, back of the tang. It's a nice thick back end of this blade. It is Bowie knife drop point style. No real guard to speak of. It's uh, got a craton handle. It's not the most ergonomic ever. Uh, it's a little fat. It's pretty round. It's not bad though when chopping. It has, I'll call it kind of a bird's head hook on the end. So with your hand on there, you get your pinky all the way back to it. Get good lock in. You can choke up a little bit on it. Get up above the guard with your thumb like this. Um, what else you can do that's about this is put your middle finger in that hook and grab on like that and you've got another two inches or so worth of length you can chop with. But overall, this blade has served me very well. Um, good wilderness blade, survival blade. Uh, as you can see, I've worn off some of the black coating on it. Uh, I don't remember what the coating is, but it does wear off. Uh, I've used this uh, most recently as a draw knife before I found a draw knife. This back edge here isn't sharp. You could sharpen it but it's probably, I don't know, a good sixteenth or so flat on the edge. So I'll grab onto that, grab onto the handle with a glove on, of course, and use it as a nice draw knife. It works well for batoning and just in all chopping needs. The sheath, again, one side cordura, one side leather. Um, it's got a, like a plastic D ring type uh, loop on the end, so you could take that lash down to your leg. The belt loop is leather, it's riveted on an actual D ring so it can pivot and flow freely around your belt. And it's got two snapping leather rings that pivot. So, not my favorite sheath ever, but it gets the job done. And it's just been pretty decent. Now, it's a 1085 blade made in Taiwan. It's got uh, HRC, that's hardness on the Rockwell C scale, uh, 55 to 57, which is pretty hard actually. Um, the blade thickness, again, it said it was 250. It's, I'm measuring it a little bit shorter than that. Uh, one thing about the blade that shows that maybe it wasn't quite that nice to begin with is on the back of the tang here, unimportant, but I can see where it was rough cut or laser cut from the factory. That never got hit with anything, so it's not smooth. And other than that, it's been solid. I've thumped on this. I've got dings in the handle. And like I said, it was a truck knife. The edge, when I got it, would shave. Now I'm fairly certain that it won't. I don't have it sharpened up very well right now. But out of the box it's shaved. Um, I've since 
used it and abused it and stoned it and used a file and gotten the edge back and get it working again. But overall, this is a nice knife. Now if this knife is just too small for you, I found this big brother. Boom. K-Bar Grass Machete. This sheath is I would say of poor quality than the than the other sheath. It is cordura on both sides isn't bad. Um, the rivets stick up more, I think. Uh, maybe not too much more. But it just looked I mean it's a cheaper sheet overall. It's got a nylon belt loop. It's just st stitched on. The thumb snap uh, is also nylon. It pivots a lot. It's actually fairly loose. I can get my finger underneath of the thumb strap when it's strapped. Just about anyways. I mean it's got, I don't know, I'll get my pinky in there. It's got that much space under it, so it's not, it's not terribly rugged. But, as you might notice, it has the exact same kind of handle. But this blade is a 14 inch blade and the overall length is 19 and a half. You can see that there. I think the blade actually cutting wise is only about 13 inches worth of edge and the heavy bowie is about 8 inches worth of edge. This blade, which is also 1085, is measuring about 163, 164. So it's not nearly as thick as the heavy bowie, but it is much longer. And this blade, um, out of the box, notice I have patches on my arm, where that guy's shaving sharp. Out of the box. It has kind of a neat uh, grind to it, where the heavy bowie is more just a complete flat grind with a with a edge on it. This has the blade thickness and then like a primary secondary grind and then the actual edge. So I think it looks kind of cool. You can see the camera picks it up at all. Um, the edge uh, doesn't look like it's been worked over terribly with diamond or with a hone or anything. It just it's it's, well, obviously shaving sharp from the factory, but the edge itself isn't quite uh, smooth. Almost a hair serrated on the very edge based on whatever they used to actually make the edge with. Diet do, gotta have it, guys. But this guy, I have not gotten a chance to play with yet. But as you may notice, it is, the blade alone is as long as the heavy bowie. This is the grass machete. This is bigger than the new green-handled zombie knives they have. And it was longer than their other machetes or their kukri, which only had 11-inch blades. This guy's got 14. I was going to buy a cold steel machete, and then I saw this and fell in love, because I think that it's more rugged and just a little bit beefier. So, I mean, it's got 1085 carbon steel blade, same hardness, 55 to 57 from near as I can tell. Made in Taiwan, Kraton handle. Exact same thing, just with a bigger blade. Not quite as thick. I believe these are full tang. I have not destroyed one to try to find out. But I recommend going and getting these right now. I got this from Sportsman's Guide for about 50 bucks. And both of these are there, and I think they're about the same price. They have some other ones. They have a little warthog that's got a short 6-inch blade, but it's like 4 inches deep. It's just ridiculous. I love it. But so this is what I just picked up, guys. This K-Bar Grass Machete. Looking forward to getting out and thumping on it and playing with it. I went with this style, just because it looked like it was quality and a lot better than... The $7 Walmart machetes we've all gone through and destroyed in our lives. So, we'll see how well this one holds up. I know with cheaper machetes, I've hit, you know, I've had the edges ding and actually get full rounds in them and chip out from hitting rocks and even wood. Um, 
I got tired of the cheapies and moved on to this guy. I wouldn't say it's super high end, but it should do well enough. And that edge picks up the light and it's just shiny. And the sheath was better than the other sheaths I had seen that opened from the back and had a couple of snaps on them, but and then no real way to secure it. And right now this actually fits into this corner up really tight. I mean I can't hardly shake it out of there. So that fits tight. The thumb snap, which is kinda loose, is better than having to be too tight, obviously. Snap it on there and that guy's not going anywhere. So this is my newest toy and I thought I'd share it with you guys. K bar grass machete. One more thing, guys. Got my little teach you the notes here. Now, I don't do much of paper cutting, but looking at my dull knife, kind of just ripping it. The grass machete. So based on from what I've seen, since I'm not a nice guy terribly, it cuts better than my dull knife. Just thought you'd like to see me struggle and fail at doing a good paper cutting task. But I really like this knife so far. We'll see how it holds up. I'll report back later. Alright guys, take it easy.